Hey there, what's up buddies? I'm actually in here at my home studio. Uh, one of my business told me it's better to uh, show your facilities instead of having a rigid background. So that's why I have changed the angle. And uh, in this session, in this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about RX8 uh, by Isotope Company. At first, I want to thank to its producers because of its, uh, you know, fantastic and awesome features. Now I've got to go. Okay, then we're gonna get to know Isotope RX8 Advanced Audio Editor. You can open uh, your projects from here or drag and drop from somewhere else. I'm gonna choose a music project from Konstantinos Galanis. Uh, uh, you know Greek musician a Greek singer and um, to tell you the truth I'm quite eager on Greek music uh, this is the uh, main console of the you know software here uh, you can see different menus and different features I'm going to explain some of them for you because I uh, have not worked with this software and I've worked just with the previous uh, version maybe and I'm not familiar to tell you the truth with some menus here uh, as you can see uh, there is ambience match here uh, if you have um, um, an ambient mic in your project you can insert uh, that track into this rack maybe and you have to trim it from your project or gain it in your project and if you have not mm, the that track but you have ambient you can hear uh, touch learn it uh, uh, the software will learn it and mm, for further adjustment you can use this you know cursor uh, after that we're going to breathe control uh, if you have breathing sounds uh, while um, having your vocals singing you can use this menu to you know omit it from your project as uh, so you can here see the target level and sensitive sensitivity uh, it's awesome feature center extracts I think it's something related to um, project imaging maybe and as we can see here reduction is trends you can uh, um, reduce the amount of imaging in your uh, you know project after that we're uh, facing with the bleed I don't know what is exactly and what does it do for you but the click is uh, well you have some clicking sounds uh, like it, like somehow most clicks maybe or facilities clicks when some um, facilities uh, knock together some clicking sound will come up and you can omit uh, those sounds using this de click de clipping is something related to combining uh, different uh, tracks in your project maybe and uh, while you use it uh, clipping sound will be reduced from your project uh, the crackle I don't know what is it but uh, the S all we are familiar with the S the S sound uh, from your project will be omitted if it is uh, you know more than desired level I'm gonna show you somehow for instance <laughs> As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when you decrease the threshold, it decreases the S amount of S's that comes through your uh, monitorings. And uh, I haven't told you this is preview button and this is uh, ba uh, bypass button, and you're familiar with it. The hum. Hum are some frequencies in baseband of your projects. 
it's uh, you know um, it's from some harmonics because of bass frequencies and uh, because being um, omnidirectional uh, you can you know adjust the amount of hum trying your mic or uh, the hum recorded in your project you can adjust it from here and you can ch uh, choose your desired frequency and you know a Q filter here uh, until it suits your you know ears the next one the plus if I don't know because it's something new the reverb is something amazing uh, it's mm, something that hasn't happened before and you will face something awesome here to reduce oh, no. Uh, maybe mm, reverb in your project I don't know does it work here or not show you a preview come on it's awesome as you hear the Russell I don't know what is it the winds is something related to wind sounds in your project and uh some other maybe um, features here you can uh, get to know for, and uh, for some informatic you can uh, stuff for informatic stuff excuse me you can use uh, their tutorials maybe but uh, the most important and uh, significant feature of this software is music rebalance as you can see we here have uh, four different choices the first one is vocal the second one is bass percussion and other uh, here it means you can omit your vocal from your music I'm gonna do it but uh, uh, I know it doesn't work properly because I have installed it recently and I haven't registered it yet. Yes, I was right. It doesn't work properly, but in uh, your project you can use it. Uh, it's something unbelievable. Maybe you can omit your vocal from uh, your projects. Maybe for having some karaoke uh, um, tracks, and after that there is uh, it an adjustment for bass maybe here it is you can increase it or decrease it to desired level the next one is percussion is related to your drums and percussions you can omit the sound decrease it or uh, you know you can gain it here and the last one the uh, whole gain of the uh, you know your project I think it is enough for this session it was just a tutorial to know about uh, RX7 and its features um, I apologize for some inconveniences about new features uh, that I had in this tutorial um, I will improve myself and come back soon here again I'm Afshin and here is my home studio please subscribe my channel if you have any further questions don't hesitate I'll answer it as soon as possible and every subscription helped me to produce better videos and tutorials. Thank you.